What is the significance behind God of War Ragnarok's giant wolf? The Great Wolf, Fenrir Fenrir's first proper appearance actually came a few months earlier courtesy of a semi-cinematic teaser titled Father and Son in which the giant creature loomed menacingly over our heroes with what seemed to be deadly intent. The State of Play trailer, however, subverted this chilling image for something far more benign, instead situating the Great Wolf's children, Skull and Hattie, beside Kratos and Atreus as the latter fires an arrow into the sky in what seemingly triggers the start of Ragnarok itself. Just as the world serpent Jormungandr was initially teased as a villainous force before the game's narrative revealed him to be a powerful, benign force, so too could Fenrir and his children turn out to be our protagonist's greatest allies in the upcoming war at the end of the universe. To understand why Fenrir may in fact be a benevolent character rather than an impediment to Atreus and his father's quest, it's vital to examine the great wolf's significance within Norse mythology. According to Nordic myth, Fenrir is the offspring of Loki and the female Jotun Angerboa, fated to destroy the Asir, Asgard and the universe in which they dwell. According to the Grim Prophecy, Fenrir will grow to such a great size that he will end up swallowing Odin whole and ushering in the dreaded Ragnarok, the event that spells the end of not only Havi but of every Asir god in Asgard. Only when Odin's son Vidar slays Fenrir and the world is submerged in an all-consuming flood will the world be reborn and able to begin anew. Desperate to avoid this dreadful fate yet unable to spill blood within the sanctuary of Asgard's boundaries, Odin and the other gods attempt to bind Fenrir to prevent him from carrying out his deadly destiny, a destiny briefly alluded to by Mimir when he describes the wolf as being the greatest threat to the gods. After numerous failed attempts to shackle their most feared rival, according to the poetic Edda, the gods eventually succeed in binding Fenrir by the use of Gleipnir, a cord made of so-called impossible materials such as the breath of a fish and the beard of a woman. This, too, is referenced in the God of War reboot when Brock and Sindri tell Atreus that the dwarves are so resourceful they can make unbreakable chains out of apparently impossible ingredients.